How y'all doing? I'm going to start by saying a disclaimer here. Do not do what I do. The stuff I do is dumb. Here, I got my Alaskan Ruger, which I love. I got the first round's going to be 45 Colt, 255 grain. And then the next is going to be a 454 Casul, 230 grain, I believe. Now, I'm shooting at a piece of steel there that when I shot with the 22 TCM, shrapnel came back, so I'm at an angle. This ain't hardened steel, this is mild steel. I already know the 45 Colt's just gonna bounce off because it bounces off of that aluminum plate over there. Let's see what happens here. I am at an angle, so let's see what happens. There you see. Now, the big boy, here we go. But try to aim a little lower than it. Let's walk up here and take a look. See, this big, the big caliber, really, I figured out a way to get out of that. You know, get it this side. <laughs> bigger caliber you really don't get much penetration when it comes to the steel so this would be good to shoot but there's a dent there for the 454 huge dent and there's nothing here with the 45 Colt nothing but huge dent there I'm not sure if you can see the dent get my damn shadow out of there <laughs> but here we got a very old very very old very very shot up ballistics vest designed to stop at 357 mag <laughs> I mean I know it's no good no more but we're gonna hit it with the 45 Colt then we're gonna hit it with uh, 454 Casul now that last shot was about seven yards I mean 12 yards we're gonna do about seven yards here now if it falls over I'm gonna walk up and pick it up 45 Colt Look at that. I can tell it didn't go through because there's nothing in the metal there. That's, but you can see the dent. But I know that did not go through. Right there's where it hit. Sorry about the filming. <laughs> now, 454 Casul, 300 grain. 320 grain, sorry. 230 grain. What the hell am I saying? There we go. Now you saw the reaction with the 45 Colt. Let's see what happens with these Horner days. Get a good grip. Ooh. <laughs> I think that's a new hole, isn't it? See, now I got to rewatch the video, but I think I think that's a new hole. So, uh, uh, all right, you guys probably seen more than I did. I'm not sure if that's a new hole or not. I, sh I really wish I remember, <laughs> but we could definitely walk back and uh, take a look at it. Let's take a look at the difference between these two rounds. And by the way, this is a good concealed carry piece. I just had it in my back pocket. Let's see, dump them out. Uh, all right. Mm. Here you go. Damn shadow. 45 Colt. 454 Casul. Now most people don't know the guy that invented the uh, 44 mag, he basically designed this round and just didn't know it. He was taking uh, old 45 Colts and reloading them with extreme gunpowder and he was blowing up these guns. And then he talked to, uh, I guess, a couple of experts and he figured out that the 44 mag brass, I mean, the 44. The, the 44, uh, 40, was it 44 mag at the time? A 44 Russian or the 
44 special had thicker brass and that's how he designed the 44 mag by first starting with the 45 caliber and then Kasul finished what he was doing all right god bless bye pretty ancient